Bless us all during this new year. Boys and girls, your friend Hannah is here and welcome to Kindergarten Sabbath School lesson. Today we have a wonderful story for you called In the Beginning. But before that, it's our sing along time. Come on, boys and girls, come join us. Let's sing and praise God together.
Today's lesson is entitled, In the Beginning. Boys and girls, what was the title of our lesson? In the Beginning. Boys and girls, we are going to study the memory verse together. Are you ready? The memory verse is, God saw all that he had made and it was very good. Genesis 1, 31. Let's repeat it again. God saw all that he had made and it was very good. Genesis 1, 31. Let's repeat it one more time. God saw all that he had made and it was very good. Genesis 1, 31. Boys and girls, are you ready? God saw all that he had made and it was very good. Genesis 1, 31. Great job, everyone! Thank you! And thank you, Misha, for saying our memory verse. You're welcome. The message for today's story is God made a wonderful world because He loves me. But for the lesson, boys and girls, we invite you to pray with us. I have knees that bend for prayer. I have hands that fold for prayer. I have eyes that close for prayer. Now I talk with Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for this day. As we're going to study our lesson, we're going to study our lesson about in the beginning, about in the beginning, and be with us, and be with us, and speak to us, and speak to us. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Have you ever made a good picture of an animal and felt pleased about it? God made real life animals in a whole new world, and it was very good. One day, God decided to make a whole new world. He had a wonderful plan. God looked at a place of darkness and water. It was too dark to see anything, and there were no sounds except the sound of water. Then God spoke. Let there be light, he said. And there was light. God divided the light and the darkness. The light he called day, and the darkness he called night. And that was the end of the first day of our world. On the second day, God created air and the beautiful blue sky to surround the new world and the evening and the morning made the earth's second day. On the third day, God said, let the waters under the sky come together and let dry ground appear. Suddenly the waters came together in certain places and dry land appeared. God called the dried places land and the waters he called the seas. But there was still more work to do on this day. God spoke again, and the earth became beautifully green with grass and trees, red and yellow and orange and purple and white and pink. Flowers nodded in the gentle breeze. Plants and trees grew tasty things to eat. Mmm, yummy! Before night crept over the land on the third day, God looked at all these beautiful and delicious things. He liked what he saw. And what do you think he said? He said, it's good. On the fourth day, God said, let there be light in the sky. And it was so. The new brilliant sun shone on the earth by day. And at night, the moon threw moonbeams across the peaceful seas. 
Millions and millions of tiny little stars twinkled in the night sky. And what do you think God said? He said, it's good. Although the earth was beautiful, it was still a very, very quiet place. But that was about to change. On the fifth day, God said, let the waters be filled with living creatures, he said, and let birds fly above the earth. Dolphins and whales splashed in the sea. Brightly colored little tiny fish danced in the streams. Birds in every color chirped and squawked and screeched and cooed. God blessed them all and said, that's good. When a new day dawned, God spoke again. This time he called for living creatures on land. Great big animals like elephants and the lions and everything else lumbered across the earth. Lions and tigers and bears swished their tails. Kangaroos and rabbits hopped along. Puppies played and horses neighed. God looked at all the things he had created and he smiled. What a lively and lovely world. And do you know what he said? He said, this is good. And so it was. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you for the wonderful world you have created for us. And help us to take a good care of it. May you be of those who are watching. Be of them, protect them, and keep them safe. Be of those who are sick. May you lay your healing hand upon them and restore their health in Jesus' name, amen. For today, boys and girls, remember, God made a wonderful world because he loves you and me. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. May God be with y'all. Have a blessed week and happy Sabbath. See you next time. Bye.